my name is Jess and today I'm going to share with you how I'm using my Optiplex all-in-one touchscreen utilizing the DAC board. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot and you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you are either a family, a mother, or you simply want to get organized and you want to hear my tips and tricks. Well, let me tell you, I've only been using this for about four weeks and it has been working. I really love having this sort of family calendar right in the living room where everybody's able to access it. I'm playing around right now with the software called DACBoard. I've never used a software like this, so if you have and you have something better, put it in the um, comments below. That would help me out a lot. But um, I like being able to see the features of what's upcoming for the family, what are the tasks, and because the Optiplex is touchscreen, it has been phenomenally fun to check the list off with the touch of a finger, not needing a mouse and a keyboard necessarily, but as well as I have used it to upload and create kind of a virtual environment for some of the old games I used to play and I introduced my son to some of these games. He doesn't seem to mind the quality of the games from 1990 or 1998. Um, but yes, so I wanna show you that. I'll do a walkthrough of Dakboard in case you came on this channel just to see that specifically and just some of the functions and, and, and functionality that this does offer. So I'm gonna jump to that right now. I'm gonna share my screen and just show you really high level what it is all about. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to Dakboard site and here it is again. I am testing Dakboard out because I don't know if this is going to be the best solution for me, but this is the one I've been testing for just about one month now. And so far I am really enjoying it, but I don't have anything to compare to. So if you have something similar that you're using to organize and simplify your family as well as your work life, let me know and comment below. I'd be happy to test out what you're using. Or if you're on the fence between this one and another one, let me know and, and I'll go ahead and test it out. So here is the website. If you head on over to dacboard.com. Again, I'm not affiliated. Never reached out to them. This is just what I, what I uh, found. So it is essentially, it can be a digital wall calendar. You saw how mine is set up. It is really set up on my Optiplex all-in-one and it is sitting in my living room. So every single day I'm able to see uh, what's on the agenda, what's upcoming, um, any family things, and then there's also, you know, digital photos. I keep the screen black. Um, I'm not sure if they offer and they let you know what uh, the consumption is for electricity, but I find you know, keeping it black, maybe in my own head, helps with the electricity. Anyways, head on over to pricing so I can show you what it is from a monthly or a yearly standpoint. I have gone with the plus edition. So that includes uh, three screens, but I'm just going to show you here. Uh, the photo change, I guess there's a lot more features that it unlocks. Same as calendar refresh, calendar limit. It is constantly ongoing. Uh, content blocks per screen. I have unlimited devices per screen, 10 screens per loop, six. I guess you could do the free one, right? It comes with a lot of options. So if you are not looking to invest, you can do the free one. But again, I like that um, down here custom screen layouts, custom screen templates. Uh, there's just a lot of things that you can do, especially API access. I know specifically my husband has an API where he gets a notification how long it takes to get to the office and how long it takes to come back home. So I like it because I can see, ooh, it's red. I know that he's going to be late coming back from the office. It's really neat. Um, all right, so... Those are the plans that you can select. $30 per month is a little bit more expensive. I assume that would be for businesses to have on the wall. Think doctor's offices, potentially spas, uh, clinics, 
anything like that that would be interesting maybe even retail right you come in and you check in and you say that you're here that would be a really interesting use case but again i am just using this personally so you can look at the options here and you can again start a free trial i think for yeah it says right up here 30 days and after only five dollars a month if you take the essentials so i'm going to go ahead and log in probably going to block this all right, here we go. I have logged in. So you can see what is included. I do have the plus uh, version noted here and then a screen. So if you want to add a screen, you can click here or the add button right at the top right corner and you can name it test 3.0 add screen. and there is no content. So you can pick styles, different backgrounds, whatever you want. So if you're in a business, you can pick your work color, you can zoom in, zoom out. Now you can add different blocks, refresh, snap. I'm just gonna click here. You can choose the aspect ratio depending on what your monitor is that you're using. You can pick whatever font that is available here. There's only, I don't know, 10 English time zone, 24 hours. I'm just going to go back here, add a block. All right, there we go. I'm going to show you what adding a block is like. So there are tons of options here. Uh, they have highlighted the popular ones. You can have a monthly calendar, Google Photos. It would be really neat if you could stream your Instagram or Facebook. Not sure if that is an option. I haven't seen that yet. Your to-do list, which we're using uh, specifically for home tasks. It's very helpful. I can do reoccurring tasks so I can say, hey, I do laundry every single Sunday morning and then I fold the laundry every single Monday night. I can add that as reoccurring so I can have a reminder hey, make sure you get the laundry done on Sunday. Same for my husband. If he washes the floors every two weeks, he can have a reoccurring task that says, all right, every Saturday morning at 9 a.m., you are to wash the floors, every single floor. And that task is gonna stay there until you physically go ahead and touch the screen to say that you are done. Uh, you can add the date and time, some photos, I don't know why that's popular, but maybe from a background perspective, people use that. You can see the calendar. You can choose the format, financial, stock quotes, exchange rates. Uh, there are graphs here, health and fitness. So if you have a Fitbit, you can put that there. Messaging. Oh, very interesting. You can put Slack there. So that is in, you know, cool if you're running a business. News. Oh, here we go. Photos and background. So you can add an Instagram. I spoke too soon. Instagram, Apple Photos, Flickr, Dropbox. Wow, they have a lot. So this is really neat. We're currently right now we're using Google Photos in a, in a OneDrive uh, account, but this would be even more interesting to add Instagram or Apple Photos. Your smart home to-do lists, like I mentioned, we're using uh, Google Tasks, but if you are a Trello or a Santa user, they're all there. Here are the tools, additional tools, show when the sun will rise and set, okay. Transportation, so you can see your traffic times, package tracking, that's great for the holiday season. Google Maps, oh, YouTube, and weather. So again, tons of different features here. I thought about sharing what my screen personally looks like, but there's a lot of personal details there. So I don't know if, um, if I wanna show you exactly, but feel free to comment below if you wanna know what I'm using. And this is really the tool, super friendly. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And uh, yeah, it's, can delete screen. Here we go. Can delete this one as well. There we go. 
And so these are the views that we have. We have um, upcoming details, picture of our child, and a calendar. And that is really what we're currently utilizing. And we hope that you like this. And if you've made it this far, check out this awesome old game I downloaded for my son. Also using the Optiplex all-in-one touch screen. He is playing Little Critter and it is so cute. And this couldn't be possible without the Intel V Pro uh, processor, which I think I downloaded Windows 95, if I'm not mistaken, or 98. I think 98. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this was beneficial for you to really try to get organized in your household. It can be a lot, especially if you are a mother. And sometimes, I mean, not sometimes, it is proven that mothers take a lot of the load in the household. So hopefully this can get you organized, starting the conversation with who does what in the household. And hopefully it was beneficial. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Take care. Thank you.